Hello guys, in this video we will be learning why to use operator overloading. So this video is not about how to use operator overloading. This video is about when you will use operator overloading because this facility is given so we should be knowing when to use that. And the answer for that is use when it makes sense. Okay, so there are lots of operators like plus, minus and all that. So we will use all those operators whenever it makes sense. And make sense means you will not add rocket plus table. Okay, if these two objects are there, you won't add these two objects. Okay, not even rocket plus rocket because it doesn't make any sense. Okay, like table plus table doesn't make any sense. Okay, like human plus human doesn't make any sense. But if there is a number plus number makes sense. Okay, number minus number makes sense. Okay, so we will use operator overloading when there is some number involved and not in number case only we use operator overloading in string also like if there is a string like cpp nuts and there is another string like rupesh then in that case you want to add this one with this one then also we use this add operation okay so the point to notice is you won't use operator overloading for something which doesn't make sense okay Although you can do that, but doing that won't be a good idea because the reader of your code won't be able to understand why actually you are doing that until and unless your function is exposed to the user. Okay. So that is not a good idea. It should be a super intuitive. Okay. So we'll take some examples here and we'll try to demonstrate the use of that. So as I said, we can have some number like I will say a point. Okay. It could be a point in two dimension space then we can use x and y and we can have a simple constructor and a parameterized constructor integer y okay so this we will use for initializing the values and these should be public now here comes the operator overloading part now what you would like to do is like point p1 and you are giving some value like 2 comma 3 and p2 is like 4 comma 5 and you want to add p1 and p2 and assign into something like p3 okay p1 plus p2 okay so it's quite obvious that you might be willing to do this because these are the two dimensional coordinates x and y and you want to reach somewhere by adding these two points okay so let's see how to give the overloaded operator in case if you don't know then the syntax is the addition of p1 and p2 should be like point only right because this p1 and p2 both are of point type so in that case their return should be also of same type so we'll have a return type point now there is a rule if you are overloading then you have to use something called operator this is a keyword we use and after that we use what we are overloading so we are overloading plus and then you will have this arguments so we know if we overload any operator this overloaded function will be called on that particular object so this p1 will come internally inside this and p2 will be passed okay so let's do that constant point ref p2 okay and we can just simply return the addition of these two now it's up to us how we return that you can create a simple point p and let me do this otherwise it could be a problem for so many people they might ask me that why i didn't include this okay so if you are doing it like this we can simply initialize p dot x is equal to x plus p2 dot x and the same for p dot y is equal to y plus p2 dot y okay and we can return this p okay so that would come here okay 
So let's compile and check the correctness of this function. It has compiled, so there is no problem in this code. Now, let's verify the working of this. We can overload C out operator, but that I wanted to include in some another video because that requires little more explanation about how to overload and why we use C out overloading and why it is taken as friend function inside your class. So that is a different talk. So for better use, we can just simply create a print function. There we'll print x and y. x here and y. And if you want to print p3, which will tell you that, okay, you have got it correctly, it will show you that, okay? So two will be added with four, so it is six, and three will be added with five, so it is eight. So that's a working code, okay? So this was not the point actually, the point was why to use operator overloading and the answer is whenever it makes sense. Okay, we have seen operator overloading in string cases also like string str is equal to Rupesh Yadav. Okay, and maybe in future you want to add something to this string, then you would simply do like this, str plus cpp nuts. Okay, so if you will print this str, then you will get the conjunction of both. See, Rupesh Yadav, CVP nuts. I have not given the space here. Okay, let's compile again and see. Okay, so here you are adding two different string. So it doesn't force you to use only on the numbers. That's what I'm telling. Use when it makes sense. So it makes sense in adding string also. It might be making sense in some other case also. I don't know. But this is the small and sweet answer. Okay. Thanks for watching.